everyone it's been a while since you've seen me like this it is Saturday morning I think it is September 23rd and while my husband is away doing things for work uh, me and the kids are going to go to a couple of events today so I figured this would be a good uh, time to vlog since I haven't vlogged in so long so um, this weekend I'm going to try and take them to a couple of things happening since they will be missing their daddy <sighs> since he's not home this weekend um, but anyway I am going to go try and liven up my face and put some makeup on and then get ready to head on out of here so I should be looking a little perkier than this when you see me next time it is still feels like summertime it is 90 degrees outside and I have no idea what to wear I feel like I ran out of clothes I didn't have enough clothes to go this long into summer I mean if I lived in like Florida or something I would be prepared but I wasn't prepared for it to still be in the 90s at the end of September so I put together this. This is actually a dress that I got from uh, Forever 21. This is a skirt that I got from Rue. Is it called Rue 21? Rue something. I'll put it down below if anybody's interested. But this is a skirt I got from there. And then I'm just going to throw on probably my flip flops and keep it moving. And I have a little person trying to attack the roll of tissue. <gasps> Like this tour. Um, first of all, welcome to our farm. Thank you for coming out today. Um, we hope that you'll enjoy visiting and visiting our herd. And um, my name is Charles, and my wife is Sue, and she's giving the other tour. Um, but uh, we've been raising alpacas about five years, and um, my wife retired from the army after 34 years and decided this is what she wanted to do. And I had no idea what an alpaca was. Um, I knew what llamas were and I knew what camels were, but I really had no idea what an alpaca was. And so one day we were driving and she says, there's alpacas. And I said, those are the ugliest animals I think I've ever seen. Um, so, fast forward five years later to today. Now I don't think they're ugly. I don't think they're exotic. They're our pets. We have 43 of them. They all have names. Um, we don't want to get rid of any of them. We always have people, that, we want to sell some. No. And the whole So this is Sunny. Now, a little bit about the fiber. That's Mr. Chock-a-Block, the gray one over there. Uh, this is Thunder and then Tom Cruise. We have a couple more. You see them standing over there. Chico and Champ. Now, a lot of times we get the question, do we breed for a particular color? We try to, but with genetics, <laughs> with genetics, you never know what you're going to get, right? And a good example is this. You see Champ, the white one over there? Yeah. His dad is solid black. Okay, his mom is white, but his dad is solid black, and through the genetics, he came out solid white. Um, so you just never know. This is Chico, the brown one coming up. They don't like their head touch so much, but usually you can sneak a touch in their back. Uh, Mr. Chocoblock has blue eyes, and I, I think I told you guys I'm a children's author, and Mr. Chocoblock is the teacher in my books. Um, Chico, the brown one, is the principal. Um, Turbo, who is the black one standing over there beside the champ. Turbo, my second book is called Monkey Bars, and it teaches kids strategies if someone's beat a bully to them. So Turbo is the bully in the book. And then Champ is one of the students in the book, the white one over there. Where can you find the book? Uh, they're in the, the store. Yeah. My third book will be out in about a month. He has the most beautiful fiber, but you know, my wife brought him home one day. Watch me walk, right? Okay, it is a barn. Normally we have it cleaned up, but last night we were dealing with the birth of, of Autumn. 
and so we didn't get around to things as quick this morning as we wanted to. Um, when we get Autumn, or I'm sorry, Smitty, he's in the stall where you see the two alpacas. He's 10 days old. Autumn, who was born last night, will be the next stall down. All of the ass, don't go in those two stalls, take as many pictures you want to. Um, they'll come right up. Uh, Autumn may not, because she's sleeping in the closet. She's just bored. But, um, but you're welcome. And for the kids, what I normally do for the kids is I will open up the door so you guys can poke your head in there and see the babies, because you guys are a little short in this, so you'll see the windows, okay? Alright, so we'll all walk in here. These are all ladies. Sometimes they'll separate themselves from the herd. And you see how they sun themselves? You'll see them out. When we first bought ours, what's wrong? That's Haley. Oh, no. They, oh, look at her rolling around in the dust. Look at them. But they were all sunny. Mm -hmm. I walked out and they were so sunny. And I was yelling oh, look at, at them. them. They loved to roll. They were like big, huge dogs. <laughs> Watch your step. Watch your step. See, look. Ooh, you have people to come get a selfie with. Come here. <laughs> okay. Oh, sweet. Oh. See how they're they're mad at each other because this one wants to roll and the other one's right in the way. Yep. <laughs> That's true. There's something else. <laughs> What's up? We're home now. Um, we're at home. What? What do you want to say? What do you want to say? Okay, you were talking and now you're not. John, go back. So we are back home now. We spent about um, maybe an hour and a half at the alpaca farm and that was fun. Um, it was fun to get up close and personal with them and um, the guy is very knowledgeable uh, as you can see. <clears throat> so I'm interested in taking my homeschool group there for a field trip because I just think that'll be a good time. And yeah, it's an interesting thing to do for your retirement though. Um, I don't, I don't think I don't think that's on my list of retirement things, uh, but I'm glad that she, his wife is doing it and uh, enjoying it. So we are going to rest now. We stopped at McDon by McDonald's, we got a uh, uh, fudge sundae. Really? Really? <laughs> She's a mess. We got a fudge sundae and we got some fries. And now we are relaxing. Um, I'm hoping to get Isabella down for a nap. And then we are going to head out in a few hours, in about uh, two, three hours, to go to Opera at the, at the Enfield? Opera in the Enfield? Something like that, whatever. So the Opera, I think I mentioned this, I'm not sure though, but just in case I didn't. Um, at the Kennedy Center, uh, the opera Aida is there right now and they are going to broadcast it from the Kennedy Center to uh, Nationals Park, which is the uh, Washington DC baseball team. They're going to broadcast it to Nats Park for free. And so, you know, everyone goes and they take their picnic stuff or they sit in the bleachers and they watch and they will have some activities for the 
kiddos to do before it begins and yeah it should be a very chill night i don't know if we'll stay the whole time i mean it is an opera i don't really need to see operas to the end um my first opera was when i was in third grade and i slept i slept <laughs> i was up for maybe 15 minutes but it's hard when you're going to opera first thing in the morning when you're a kid that wakes up at six something in the morning you get to school and you're you're in class at eight and they tell you that at like nine o'clock you're seeing an opera so you walk down to the kennedy center or wherever we walked down to at that time and we're sitting there in the dark watching an opera and i have no idea what it was about man i think as soon as they shut those lights off i was like good night bye bye i'm done um so hopefully this is a more fun introduction to opera for johanna um another reason why i want to come home and get some rest get uh some relaxation in before we go so that she doesn't get there and she's not like or right, is it over with yet i'm ready to go to sleep so anyway i'm gonna go lay it down and then get ready to go and here we are we are <clears throat> on the train so if you know anything about dc or the dc maryland virginia area also called a dmv you know that parking in dc is like impossible um it's a huge headache especially on the weekends i mean it's a huge headache monday to friday but on the weekends it's even worse it's so hard to find parking and then when you do find parking you find that people that park behind you or in front of you like to do the bump test to see if they pulled far enough back or far enough forward and so they end up bumping your car and we don't have one of the um the bumper things you put on your car so that you know it doesn't scratch up the back so with that said, we are taking the metro to Nats Park, which also means that it's going to take us a while to get there. Um, which it might have taken us a while to get there anyway, just depending on what traffic was looking like. Isabella, I got her to fall asleep, and you know I wanted her to get at least an hour nap in before we left, and she was able to do that. So I didn't want to wake her uh, her up early from her nap just to leave. So we are here. It starts at seven. The kid event started at five. It is now. 5:23. We will be moving probably like 5:30, so we'll get there about 6:15, 6:30, um, which isn't great, but it's not horrible. It'll give us some time to find a spot to see the opera, um, and maybe it'll give uh, some time so that Johanna can uh, play for a little bit um, before it all begins. I'm tired. I'm so tired. I should have slept with this Bella, but I didn't. Oh, by the way, I used the new palette that um, I did in the Boxy Charm video. I'm using that palette today for the eyeshadow. And am I using anything else for that palette? Oh, I did use the foundation brush from that palette today, and I love it. I love it. It gives you a really nice airbrush finish. Um, that is now my new foundation brush. I don't even want to use a beauty blender or my knockoff beauty blender. Like, I'm good. I really, really, really love that um, brush. And I think that's all I've used from there. But yeah, I really like the palette for like my everyday look. See? looks very neutral very natural i love it here's miss johanna Hi. did you like the alpaca form yeah you did yeah would you want one as a pet yeah, yeah. they actually did tell us um i'm not sure if i'm putting this part in the video or not so i'm just if i'm repeating myself i'm sorry but they actually did tell us that they make good great pets didn't know that so yeah i mean maybe one day if we move to like Colorado and we have land. <laughs> Isabella is playing. Hey! 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 <laughs> she's playing with her stroller. <laughs> I'm praying that she stays good this whole train ride. This is the rest of the train. Not a lot of people on here right now. We just missed the train that was here before uh we have four minutes we just missed the train um that was here when we parked so the trains today are running every 23 minutes or something like that which just blows me normally they're running a little bit faster than that on the weekends they usually don't start running like 23 minutes until it's like late at night but i don't know 
I don't know what's going on here, but I'm ready to go. So we're just waiting to get the moving. So they were kind enough to let us take as many, many chocolate treats as we wanted to. So lots of M&Ms and Snickers and Mars bars and all that other good stuff. But this is what it's looking like. This is legit one of my uh, favorite stadiums ever. Um, I thought I wanted to sit on a field and I was kind of disappointed when I heard that the field was full but looking at it you have to kind of break your neck in order to see the screen from the field so i'm actually kind of happy that we're not down on the field but anyway like i said i don't think we're staying the whole time i think we're going to stay half time and then i'm going to let johanna play at the uh playground here and then we are going to head home <laughs> Up. it is now Sunday morning just before 10 a.m. Um, about the opera last night so your girl ruined it for me your girl being Johanna she I think because she is not a strong reader yet she just didn't enjoy watching it because she couldn't really read the teleprompter or anything um, 
you know, when they were telling, saying what they were singing about or whatever. So she just kind of was like not into it. But thankfully, my husband already had a conference in the city um, close by. So he just came and took her and went home. And Isabella and I stayed. Um, but we didn't stay all the way through. Uh, but we stayed a little while longer and then we headed home. And yeah, I actually really enjoyed it and I would love to see the whole thing all the way through because I thought it was really, really good. I was like, whoa, this is like a soap opera. So yeah, I really enjoy that. But today I have minimal makeup on because I sweat it all off yesterday. So like, what's the point? So I just have face powder, mascara, blush, and lip gloss. So today we are headed to the DC State Fair. And we're just going to stay for like a couple of hours and then head back home because Isabella and I are getting sick. She's sneezing and sniveling. I have a sore throat. So I don't want to be out there all day feeling wonky. So we are going to just go have ourselves a little bit of a good time and then head on back home. And I'm dropping everything. We're here and it's already hot as Hades. I'm super glad I didn't wear a bunch of makeup today. Is that? There's a, a period right there. Yeah, so what's that first number say? Sorry, it's a little hard to see. Oh, it might be hard, Six. but... All right, now what you're going to do, stamp the board you're going to blow you? as many bubbles as so you can into the cup, nice and cool we'll see how it changes. For you? Okay. What color do you want? Pink? This is the only okay. time you'll probably be encouraged to blow And you got it. Exactly. Right? <laughs> yeah, actually, you guys. Oh, there's a stamp. That's good. Good job. That's surprisingly valuable. High five. Oh, and let me give you guys a sticker. Yeah, you Come back out. Yeah. You too. So, what are you stickers are a little bit hard too. Yeah. All right. So let's see. One for you, you and choose. I got another one. Okay. We also have a mailing list if you would like to join because we do a lot of uh, special okay. events. Um, so, so do you want to sign up so, right over there? You can? Yes, I that. It's a little finicky. <laughs> Alrighty. So this is a, we'll just go with a 6.2. So you got made it a little bit more acidic. And so the reason why this is important is you see what's happening in here. So these are muscle shells. You might have seen them um, on your dinner plate or uh, something like that. But we see them when we go to Wegmans. They have a bag of muscles all the time. Right? Yeah. Exactly. No and so do you see what's happening to them? They're in a really acidic environment or with vinegar. So what do you notice is happening to them? I don't know. How are you today? Yeah. They're breaking apart. And so, so this uh, is important the, because when we, 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 we have, have um, 
so we know, manufacturing our food, airplanes, things like that, that put carbon dioxide into the air, it gets absorbed by the ocean, it makes it more acidic, it makes it harder for animals like this to build their shells. Yeah. So that's what this is demonstrating, and it cool. shows us why it's important to take care of the environment. Yeah, so, we don't want them to break apart like that. Yeah, so if you want to put your data with the rest of ours, we would really appreciate that. So you got another 6.2, so if you want to take a stamp and put it right over there, that would be... Ooh, Where is she here. supposed to put it? Like right here. Hi there. Perfect. So when do we see you Great. All right. Thank you so much. And we have a lot of little... Do you want a sticker? Can you get a sticker? <laughs> We actually um, only stayed about an hour at the fair for a couple of reasons. Um, sh street parking, like I told you, in D.C. is like a mess. And you just don't want that life. We rode around for 20 minutes looking for parking. And I was ready to go back home. Um, they had blocked off the street where the grocery store is. And um, I was like, hmm, let me just ask the officer. So I went to him and I was like, what about if you're shopping at Safeway and you need to park? In the garage and he was like oh yeah you can park in the garage really so we parked in the garage at Safeway and that only gives you one hour free and so we uh, enjoyed the fair for about 45 50 minutes then ran in the Safeway bought a couple of drinks got our, our ticket validated and then headed back home um, so that was one reason but the other reason is Isabella and I are both actually really under the weather um, she has quite the runny nose and she's just agitated and um, sounding a little hoarse. It's well stop. And I have quite the sore throat. Um, I took some extra strength Tylenol and that did help for like a couple of hours. But it went right back to being painful. So I just took some cold and flu medicine. I don't know if this is a cold. I don't know if it's the flu. What I do know is that I need my throat not to hurt. I spent my whole childhood battling sore throats. I would have at least two a year where they lasted for at least a week um, because I would get strep throat like twice a year. Um, excuse me. The doctor always said it was because my tonsils were the size of golf balls. And so they, I mean, they were the first line of defense and they just would always catch everything. Um, and I think that today, 
like just constantly sick. It's not possible. I was like, this has to be um, allergies. So I think she suffers from allergies too. And now Johanna is sneezing. So, but nobody seems to have like three or more symptoms. It seems like I have the sore throat and I have some drainage. Isabella, I mean, if she could talk, she could tell me exactly what she's going through. All I see with her though is sneezing and, um, you know, runny nose. And Johanna's just sneezing, so who knows? And the third reason we left from down there is because it is hot as the Dickens in DC right now. Like, if I lived someplace where it was hot, I'm having to take a lot of things from the baby. If I lived someplace where it was hot in September, like Florida, this would totally be acceptable. Like, you're expecting it, it is what it is. But usually by now, no, Isabella, usually by now, it's quite breezy and brisk. And, you know, in the evenings, you got to put on your jacket because you're like, ooh, that chill. And that's not what's happening right now. It's like, it was like 88 and it felt like 90 something with the heat index or whatever. So we've been out in the heat for two days straight. Um, three if you include co-op on Friday where Johanna played after co-op and I was sitting out there in the heat. So, I was like, enough of this. It's draining our energy. Like, we can't, we can't keep doing this. So, um, yeah, I'll try and vlog a little bit more. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy the vlog. So if nobody enjoyed it, then maybe I won't vlog, vlog anymore. Um, and then also, please don't forget to subscribe if you have not already. Thank you guys so much for watching us. Come on, everybody. Say bye.